Uh, hello everyone, uh, today I am going to show you how to set up the Wi-Fi steering PC application for the Android mobile application Wi-Fi steering through which we can play our favorite racing games by with the help of our Android mobile. So there are basically two softwares provided on the Blogspot. One is the PPJoy and uh, one is the this one, this folder Wi-Fi steering desktop uh, zip file which is provided on the desktop. You can download it. So just first download the PPJoy software and install it. Just follow the on-screen step and later you have to set up this Wi-Fi steering for desktop. Just follow my steps, uh, pretty simple steps. When you open this folder you will find these. Uh, there's an instruction manual which shows what I'm just showing in this video right now. So right now just open the Wi-Fi steering folder. You will see this Wi-Fi steering. I've written this open this one deliberately here so just open this one so here you can see this is the application window so right now i am connected to a wi-fi network which shows the ip address over here and uh, i've also provided the concept of a virtual router through which you can make a virtual router if you don't have a wi-fi router at your home you can uh, use your laptop's nic card to broadcast itself into a wi-fi network and then you can use that to connect to with your mobile and the PC it will serve as a connection so basically now what we have to do is you have to just uh, create the virtual joystick so just click on the create button here so this window will open just click on add and again click on add so this PPJoy virtual joystick one you will see right here just select it and click on mapping let's set a custom mapping for this controller next so here what we have to do we have to change the pov hats to zero because we won't be needing them and uh, axis 3 the z axis needs to be changed to throttle so just click on throttle and axis 4 needs to be changed to wheel so here's the wheel and this and just click on next and this has already been set so just click on next again click on next the mapping configuration is complete just click on finish and done so now you have set up the virtual joystick right now we just need to calibrate the virtual joystick which we have right now created and uh, please make sure that you do not connect your device in all of this process because it needs to stay disconnected because the changes takes place so do not connect your device right now uh, i will tell you when to connect so just click on the calibrate button right now with your device still disconnected and uh, now PPJ virtual joystick one appears status ok let's click on the properties you will see settings right over here just click on the settings and click on the calibrate button you will see a calibration wizard just click on next so now is the time when we need to connect our controller our android mobile to our pc so what we do just open your android wi-fi steering mobile app and just press the connect button you will see a connection wizard in which there will be uh, two boxes one will require an IP just similar to the one written above and one will require a port the port has been already entered for you and enter those and just press the connect button and then you will see a uh, list of games just select any one because right now we are only calibrating so in the top and right corner you will see a small circular right button just touch on that and uh, when you do so the disconnected will change to a right connected so right now i am using my android phone to connect it so it has changed to a right connect a green connected so now just press any button on the controller just hold it straight uh, like vertical and just press any button on the controller so like see i am not doing anything it's just moving forward on its own so just press any button and now the wheel has come so now what we do we just tilt the our phone to, totally like like just with controller steering wheel like left and right like we have to do this like at least four to five times so that the steering wheel becomes a little bit sensitive and that has been done just press any button on the controller leave the x rotation and y rotation out of this and when the throttle comes there's a throttle bar in each of the controller so just take the throttle up and down like four to five times i guess uh, dip, it depends on you you can set uh, whatever whatever you feel like and, uh, this will just basically make it more sensitive the more you calibrate it 
so when the calibration is done just uh, press any button and uh, slider then this next so this calibration is complete just click on finish so you will see it like this now if you increase your throttle it will go like this so you will see it like this and if I turn right now I will going to see my wheel the change so just click on apply and click on ok so this has been done so now you have configured your controller and now you can start playing any game you want just go to the inside game settings and bind all these controls in your games that's it so that's it thank you